Hi, I'm Carl from FrameCAD and today we're going to be going uh, through the tiny house and just looking at all the connections and how we're fixing the framing down to the trailer. So let's go and have a look. So what we've done is we've used um, standard twist straps or cyclone straps uh, just to, to connect some of the studs down to the trailer. Um, we are going to be doing um, bracing brackets like this which connect the, the stud down to the bottom plate and then through into the, the um, galvanized C section of the trailer. But because the trailer is moving around and we've got to take into account um, not only wind zones um, when it's stationary but also movement of braking and acceleration um, so we're really trying to make sure that um, it's bolted down properly and we, we're doing a lot more than we would do for a standard house um, so for instance if we look here we've obviously got the, the twist straps um, we're going to be having these which sit inside the the bottom plate as well and we have a, a thick um, three mil washer um, going on top of that and then we will do some bolted connections and then also some uh, screwed connections um, in particular on the main corners we will do some um, M10 uh, nut and bolt connections but then the rest will just be decent sized 12 gauge uh, tech screws into the perimeter channel of the trailer. The bolted connections as I said we're going to be using these um, M10 uh, gelf bolts with a nylock nut um, that's just to um, prevent any, any uh, fasteners coming loose with vibration of, of moving the trailer. Um, so like I said, the, the, the key points are gonna be bolted down with this. Um, the rest of the, the walls will be tech screwed through the washer and through the, the base bracket or the, the, the bracing bracket. Um, and that will go through the bottom plate, through the timber flooring into the perimeter channel of the, the trailer. Uh, this is a, a twist strap or a cyclone strap. Uh, what it does is it just creates, a, I mean for instance here where you're wanting to have a flush connection um, but still have it connected to the, the edge of the, the stud. So you can have it flush on the trailer but then you've still got all your fixing points here and we just put a number of different fixings in here so you can see here we've got five, five onto the trailer, we've got six up here and we've still got more coming through here so there's, it just creates a lot of, of fixing points um, which helps with uplift. The reason they call these cyclone straps is um, they're used in general um, general buildings that, uh, not, that aren't necessarily in cyclonic conditions, but they are used in um, areas where there is cyclone conditions and it just connects the trusses to the top plate. So what you'd have is you'd have this running down the stud and that wrapping either, either connecting to the side of the truss or even wrapping over the top of the truss and that just um, prevents the uplift once again. Because this is, this is a, a new concept, um, and like I said, it's not a stationary, um, it's not a stationary house, we, we are allowing for um, movement, braking, stopping, different wind zones. We're not sure where you're going to be parking, uh, parking the house, um, so we can't design it for a medium or high wind zone. We have to ca cater for every environment. Um, and in particular, connecting the studs down to the, the perimeter channel of the trailer as, as where we, we're going to be using it now and then later on we'll put a few of these over on the, the roof panels. So four areas where um, we want to strap the roof or we don't have a standard bracket and we just need to um, sort of connect the roof panels, um, we'll do it over the ridge. We'll just use standard 32mm uh, 0.95 gauge strapping. You can see they've got all the pre-punched pre holes um, so it's easy for, for connecting um, our standard frame care tech screws to it. So what the guys are doing now is they're just um, cutting lengths of, of uh, DPC or damp proof course and um, all we're doing is we're creating a, um, a separation barrier between the galvanized steel and the, the timber flooring. Much like you've got the, the uh, damp proof course between the perimeter channel of the, of the trailer and your timber, we're just going to slide that underneath and then we can get ready to uh, fix everything down. It creates a separation between galvanizing and, and the timber. Uh, there is a chemical reaction between treated timber and galvanizing um, when moisture is introduced, so we just try and put a, a separation barrier in case there is moisture introduced. Another great part about using steel framing is um, a lot of the service holes are pre-punched. Um, so when the sparky comes to wire or plumb the, or the plumber comes to plumb the house, we just have these standard grommets which just pop in and it just prevents any rubbing of the electrical cables or the, the pipes on the steel framing. 
So some of the other brackets that Framecat produces is a triple grip or a multi-fix bracket. And um, it's used for a number of different connections. It can be used for corner connections. As you can see, it's connecting the roof panels to the top plate. And all you, can do, all you need to do is just fold the, fold the leg so it can fit on wherever you need it to. Um, or you can just leave it straight and like I said, it can connect uh, corners. Um, we'll probably be using it in some of those uh, 45 degree corners that you see on the end of the trailer. So um, another bracket is just a standard rectangular bracket. Um, if you look around by the 45 degree walls, you'll see that we've used those there. It just helps get that, um, that connection neater than, than how it would be trying to connect two corners of the wall together. Um, again, this is one of those brackets that it has little jack bends in it so it can be, can be folded. You can use it as a top plate connector um, or connecting, for instance, the gable uh, or the ridge ends of the roof panel. But if you need it to be folded, it's just a case of folding it into whatever angle you need and um, it's ready to go. Similar to the rectangular bracket, we've just got a, um, a ridge plate or uh, we use it on heel height, on the heel of a truss. So it's, it's again, it's a multi-purpose bracket and we just use it where needed for, for extra strength for um, joining the roof panels together or if we did have trusses on this, we'd use it on the heel just to strengthen it up. So those are some of the connections that we use for the tiny house. Um, all of them are available from Framecad. Uh, so the next step from, uh, from this point is obviously finish off the DPC, finalize all the connections and then we'll get the engineer to do a walkthrough and just um, approve all the connections and make sure he's happy and then it's out the door.